What's up guys, we are back with the series where I review your cards on Reddit and let you know is it worth it or is it not for you to grade these cards, open the packs, etc. You can post whatever you want to r slash Ruxin34. I will look at it and let you know if it's worth it or if it's not. Before we start this, I do have a quick announcement in regards to Mega Tins. If you guys bought from Sassiato, he let me know that wave one of the tins, if you guys have heard about the waves, they're waving the tins to distributors, to people selling them, etc. So there's supposed to be two waves. One was going to be when it first came out and then one in the next month, I believe. Now they just dropped a bomb that the wave one that was supposed to initially show up on time is now being split into multiple waves. So Sassy is not going to get some of his tins until two weeks later. So if you bought from him, you do need to look out for that. He thinks he can get 80 to 90% of them sent out, but if he doesn't get all of his allocation because they, they added more waves, which is just a bomb to drop on, you know, everyone who is involved in selling them, it's really, there's nothing they can do about it. They're just kind of screwed. So keep in mind that that is what's happening if he messages or if you are not getting your order or whatever. He can't really do anything about it. So I just wanted you guys to know that it's a Konami thing. It is not a Sassiato or any other distributor thing. We also have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this open MFC pack. So I opened this MFC pack on the channel and inside are all the cards that we pulled. I, all you have to do is like this video, be subscribed. Just let me know what you think is your favorite or what you think should definitely be submitted. First, we have a parallel bubble man. Is this one of these super rare ones? This thing looks bent right here. Honestly, like getting it graded is not going to help you that much. And like, if you guys remember the $80,000 card, the Cyber Dragon, apparently most of that was like a scam. The guy was actually lying about the price and all that stuff. So in terms of this stuff, I don't like to get too involved. Like, I think the Bubble Man's actually legit because I remember the toy. But if you're getting into that weird stuff where, like, we're not even sure if it's real, PSA, just sending it to PSA doesn't necessarily mean it's real. Like, they might grade a fake card. They've done it before. I would not totally put all the stock in if they grade it or not. So, honestly, this is not something I would grade. SDK001, worth it or not, grade predictions. Oh, you want me to predict the grade? That's the thing. I cannot predict the grade very well. I can try from what I can see, but like just like two or three pictures or even 12 here. It'll give me a good idea, but not actually having the card. There's almost no way I can do it accurately. So on the first picture, I mean, it looks good, but like we can't see any of the surface here. This is why it's important to have like video with flash on and then also pictures with not flash on just like so you can see everything. I mean, it looks good. I mean, the centering is it's tilted as well so sometimes people will tilt the card not necessarily to make the centering look better but some people will do that but this like uh, makes the centering appear better when you tilt it sometimes maybe if it's offset to one side back looks pretty clean right there um is there supposed to be some damage here or something we're supposed to be looking at i'm not seeing anything it all looks pretty good so far okay there's something all right, there's a little ding right there. So that little spot, honestly, that could be on a PSA 10. But you do, like, if there ends up being multiples of these, then it's definitely going to knock the grade down. Okay, that looks pretty good. The corners are looking pretty good. May, is there is there a little spot maybe right there? I can't tell if that corner has something or not. Corner looks good. So from what I can tell in the pictures, it's, it's an SDK first edition Blue Eyes. It's definitely worth $150 rate because it can be up to like a 15K card if it gets a 10. A PSA 9, I don't know exactly what it would go for, but I'm sending this in no matter what. I think you're easily not gonna lose money on this, just sending it at 150. And since the 150 rate comes back in like a week or two, it's already fast enough. You don't even need to send Super Express. If you did get the 10, they would definitely upcharge this though. Well, I say definitely, but they're very inconsistent about it. So maybe they would upcharge it. So yeah, definitely worth it. If I'm gonna predict, I would just guess a nine on the pictures. Just because, because it's the blue eyes, it's going to be a lot harder to get the 10. I know it's not supposed to be a thing that it's harder, but I would guess the 9. I think you do have an outside shot of the 10 from what I can see. Is this worth grading? Okay, worth it or not on the Black Cluster Soldier? Is this a reprint? That's the question. Um, Yeah, we've already got some edge or some edge wear corner wear. Uh, that looks like down there it might be bent. It, it looks like it may have a bend. Lightning Tricorn. I think this is a very cheap card and it's unlimited. So both these are unlimited so far. Usually when you're sending in $150 rate, it needs to be first edition if possible. Not always, but usually. Just based off the top of my head, I'm going to say no, because one of the BLS looks like it would be like not a great grade anyway, probably like a six or something like that with this edgeware. And if that's a corner ding, it's probably going to be a six. And then Tricorn, I think, is a very low value card. Like I think it's like five, ten dollars at the most. So I would not spend 150 to grade this. So I would say not worth it for these two. Worth grading. Blue Eyes has a couple tiny dings on the back. As pictured, the rest looks minty fresh. Uh, that is going to be at least a grade right there. Dark Magician as well. Rota Collector Rare. Interesting. The Rota, I can give you a little bit better for sure. But 
So I looked up the blue eyes. I see there's one available for 300 for a 10. And as that one did have a corner ding, it's gonna be a nine. When the best possible is a maximum of 300 because no one has even bought this. So it's less than 300. You're paying 150 to get a potential of a less than $300 card. Definitely not worth it because if you get the nine, which you're gonna get the nine with that ding, uh, you're losing money on the 150. And since Dark Magician is always, like if they're this, from the same set or whatever, it's always gonna be worth less than Blue Eyes. So I know that that one's not gonna be worth it either, even though it would have the 10 chance. It looks like a nine would be like under a hundred bucks. So I would save those for like a $20 rate. The Rota, however, it is first edition. It looks like it's off-centered. So as for this card, I would not grade this one. A lot of its value is coming from playability because it's still a very good card. Secondly, since the centering's off, you're gonna get a nine. So you're looking at a nine of a card that a lot of its value comes from being played. I would not grade that one either. So I would say hold off on those. I would grade the other two whenever you get a $20 rate because they're iconic. Blue Eyes, Dark Magician stuff. For this one, I think it's just good to, to be played. I think it's the best value for it. Worth it. We have more collector rares. So we have Arcana Triumph Dr Joker. This one, we're going to need to look up some prices. So this is a brand new card. However, it is on the pack art, which is pretty cool. So that's kind of something to think about. Since this is a newer card, I figure not any, maybe a couple have been graded. So we're just going to have to go off the raw price. So low is a $55 card is what we're looking at. You're going to spend $150. This is a new card. So it is less likely that you want to grade it because it's new. There's a lot of people that can grade it. There's a lot of minty copies out there. Personally, I would not recommend grading this for $150. It looks like it has a good chance at a 10 though. So if you do want the 10, maybe down there there's a little ding. That might be a ding right there on the corner. If you do want to get the 10, maybe go for it. But I would say no because it's $150 for a $50 to $5 card. I would expect that if this comes back at 10, it's under $500. I would say like $300 on my guess, maybe like 400 max. And then if you get the nine, it's it's not gonna be worth 150, I don't think. So I would definitely wait for a lower rate for this one. We have Wing Dragon Raw. Okay, we, we've seen, we've done Wing Dragon Raw before, so we don't need to go over that again. If you haven't seen what I think about the Secret Pharaoh's Rares being graded, check out the first two episodes. We've seen them in both episodes, so I'm not gonna go over it again. Worth it or not for grading. So we have Sly for the Sky Dragon. These are Legendary Collection. These are in every game board, and game board was printed to Oblivion, so there are probably millions of these out there. Definitely not worth $150 to grade. I would maybe grade them. 20 is almost pushing it to grade them. So maybe 20. But honestly, with how cheap these cards are, I would not. I would just honestly buy like a GBI God card or some other version because this is the most common God card you can get. It's just not worth grading. Worth it or not, a first edition Elemental Hero Flame Wingman Ulti Stomp. That's not a Flame Wingman. That's a... Uh, is there another one? It, maybe they just were thinking Flame Wingman. I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's Air Neos. It, is it... Yeah, it's French. Okay, maybe they couldn't read it. Air Neos Ulti Stomp. French edition. Really nice condition in my opinion, but I feel kind of lost with this card. Thanks for the help. So it's French. I don't know a lot about French, but I do know Aaron Neos has never been reprinted. So these foreign copies are actually like kind of like reprints. I mean, they came out at the same time. So they're like old and they're like the other reprint. You know what I mean? So it looks like from what I can tell, it looks pretty nice. But as I said, you need lots of pictures. There is a little spot right there on the back. So that spot is going to probably make it a nine. Just that big scratch right there or scuff or whatever it is. Hmm, this is a tough one because I don't really know the value of the foreign, but I would guess that this is still a pretty valuable card. Let's see if we can find one on eBay. Okay, we've got a, um, it says Japanese. Wow, that seems, that seems cheap. That's a really cool card. Okay, we've got uh, Elemental Hero PSA 8 for, you got to buy it for a thousand, 650 for a nine. That is Japanese as well. Wait, is that Japanese? What's PD? Oh, that's unlimited. What's PD mean? That's a qualifier that I've never seen, I don't think. Let's see if I can fight, figure out what it means. I'm not sure what PD means, to be honest. Let me know, guys, in the comments. I'm sure one of you guys knows what PD means. I don't remember if I've ever... I don't know if I've ever seen that. Okay, so PSA 9, Ultimate Rare. That's unlimited. Okay, so we're not really getting... The, the prices are all over the place. We're not really getting anything. We got a Italian for 350 so honestly, I'm just going to have to guess if you think it could get the nine, maybe, but because it's a nine max, I'm inclined to say maybe wait. It's a really cool card though. I don't know what kind of demand there is for this card either. So personally, I would probably hold off. It's just, but if you're like itching to send something in, this is not a bad candidate. I would personally say not worth it, but I could see if you just wanted to send it in and you're like willing to maybe not be able to sell it if you're going to sell it or to take a little bit of an L potentially then maybe do it because this is a pretty rare card and a pretty cool card. Worth it or not, Archlord Christia, first edition, SOVR. Thanks for the help. 
Okay, so Arzor Christia, that's a very cool card. If this gets a 10, it's very low pop. It's very rare. A lot of people are actually interested in these uh, Stardust Overdrive. As you guys know, there are no booster boxes in North America for the first edition Stardust Overdrive. They're pretty rare, stuff like Guardian Yatos and this. They do have Silvering a lot of the time. I think I can almost kind of see some there, but it looks like it's maybe a little bit because of the lighting. Wow, this is super clean. Okay, ding, ding. I mean, not ding, like more of like a slight baby nick and then a little dot look at that uh foil bleed which psa is grading foil bleeds so that's good to know before you wouldn't have been able to grade this and then a, oh, a very small ding so this is very good these are these are the kind of pictures you need if you want to be able to guess so a very small ding there just small little dimples so this card honestly this is the kind of thing that they're so small it could sneak by into the 10 with how clean the rest of the card is it would possibly get the nine. It's nine to 10. This is a gradable card. This is a card you send in for $150 because if it gets the 10, I think it's around $2,000, something like that. Maybe even a little bit more. If it gets the nine, I would guess it's still worth several hundred dollars. So I would definitely grade this one for 150, 100% worth it. Probably the most worth it card I've seen so far. Besides the Blue Eyes uh, SDK. Worth it or not, the Iris Sword Soul Starlight Rare. I would really appreciate your opinion. So last time we had the Iris Sword Soul Secret Rare, which I said, definitely not. This one is a little bit different. If it's Starlight Rare and it can get a 10, I say just go for it. This one, let's see. The centering, it looks a little thick up here. That is, it looks like it might be in the range though. It might be in the range. I can't tell for sure. Okay, it looks a little bit thicker. It looks like it maybe it's off just both of these ways, which I think would probably knock it down. Might be able to sneak through. Let's see if we see anything else. Um, back looks pretty clean. Maybe there's a couple dots on there. Uh, I feel like that centering might get you a nine. So that's a tough, that's a tough one because Centering is one of the only things that gets the newest cards. It gets the centering's off, they give it a nine. If it gets the nine, it's not as worth it. But I think new starlights are usually decent to send in. I wouldn't say send them all in immediately. As soon as you pull them, you definitely send it in. But it's a cool card. This is a very playable archetype, though. So the value may go up just by being playable and being the highest rarity of this card. So maybe consider that. So I would consider sending it in. I would personally not send this in based on the centering, but. I, I could see why you would. Worth it or not, I think these are definitely nines, possible tens. Okay, so we we'll just have to take your word for it here. Okay, so these pictures are not going to do me any good because they are in a sleeve. Okay, the Legendary Collection GX, is that what both these are? Okay, Legendary Collection GX, first at least this one's first edition. So for the Flame Wingman, first edition is nice, but it's still Legendary Collection GX, so it's a reprint set. Not worth 150 I would say. And the Unlimited one's definitely not. So I would not grade these for $150. When you get the $20 rate back, maybe go ahead, but definitely not for $150. Worth it or not, prize card, Speed Duel, Genzo, CP, Snipe Hunter. Okay, so just based off that, prize card gets it's worth it. I don't even have to look at it. Even if it's like bit in half and it gets a one, it's still, it's still worth sending in. It's worth it raw as well, but like just that level of a card, it's nice to have slab. So I, I would send that in. Oh, okay. So all these. So this is the prize card, I believe. This Link, uh, Dual Link Dragon, the Dual Dragon, which I'm pretty sure is not a Dual Links prize card, which seems like a huge missed opportunity. Am I wrong about that? Is it actually a Dual Links prize card? Because if it's not, then like, come on. <laughs> Looking to maybe send these in to get graded. Not sure what the market is like or if it'd be worth it or not. Any advice? Should I send the Speed Duel card still sealed and grade them that way? Or should I open them first? So you can send stuff to be sealed, like that is sealed to be graded. It just depends on what you want the slab to look like. It looks a little janky in my opinion. It's just in the plastic and the slab is massive. Usually they're leaned off to one side or something. It doesn't look as clean, but they're still sealed. So it's kind of like if you want to open them or not. So here's a video of the dueling dragon. That's just really cool to have a, like any sort of prize card. Okay, so are these, these are all new speed duel tournament cards. Is that what these are? And they're pretty like, they're like $500. Is that right? I think I saw something about this. Wait. So that Book of Moon's really expensive, I think. And then the uh, the Jinzo, which I saw, this is also expensive. So if they're like really like $500, like I'm thinking, then yeah, I would send them in. And honestly, I'd probably keep them sealed because that's pretty cool to have like a sealed sort of prize sort of card. Yeah, I, I would probably keep it sealed, honestly. I think that'd be pretty cool to have. And then we have Snipe Hunter here. This is Champion Pack 3. These are very valuable. So the condition on these... Okay, based on that back condition right there, I'm going to say no. I would not grade these. These are pretty heavy. I mean, not heavy play. I would call moderate play. Not worth the grading because they're going to get like fives, sixes, maybe. 
probably a five. I would, that's what I would guess. That one's a little better, but I would say not grade these two. So overall, I'd say grade the prize card and the speed duel cards, but I would not grade the snipe hunters. This is not worth it or not, but also looks interesting. A Spanish pack pulled a French ulti. Has anyone heard about that? I've never heard of that. Sounds insane. Congrats, I guess. That's pretty cool. Worth it or not, few cards at lower cost, retro pack, LOB, and movie promo. So LOBE reprint. Probably not grade this until the $20 rate, but I would grade it then because it's blue eyes. Looks like there's a scuff on it too. That's probably like an eight. So I definitely would not grade that now. Blood's Ultimate Dragon has Foil Bleed. That's really cool from Retro Pack 1, the promo. This looks like a nice card. It does have that ding down there. I would say not grade that now. It's like a $90 card near mint, but this thing is not going to really grade that well. And then it's $150. Yeah, I'd hold this off for later. I'm just checking out that top border. That looks like it's going to grade pretty poorly based on that. So I would not do that now. Even later, it's probably not worth grading. This looks like moderately played. So I would probably hold off on this and just keep it raw. Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. This is only worth it at the lowest rate because this is like a $5 card maybe at the cheapest rate you send in it it's cool because it's blue eyes shining it's the movie pack so if you can get it for 20 dollars, go ahead but not for 150 worth it or not blue eyes white dragon unlimited ultimate rare this is not worth it at 150 this is a cool card to grade at the cheapest rate but because one it's unlimited there's a lot of them and two it's just a low value card right now the value might go up in the future but even it looks minty so but even that i still wouldn't grade it right now Worth it or not, Blue Eyes Shining Dragon First Edition Legendary Collection Kaiba. This is a card that it's so new that I'm almost not grading it at $20. So I definitely would not spend $150 because it's like a $2 card. You don't want to spend $150 on a $2 card. Get to $10, it's worth $30. You know, like you spend $150 and it's now worth $30 at best. You know, so it's just not, not a card I would grade. Worth it or not, First Ed MRD Catapult Turtle. So I like this light he's using. It is a little bit hard to see from far away but it looks like it's in pretty good condition from what i can see oh in the back yeah i see all the scratches and the ding right there so this is our this is probably light play mod play catapult turtle psa 10 you're borderline worth it but because this thing is going to get like a five or six i would not grade this for 150. i would probably hold this off just for like binder collection anyway because it's not going to grade that well worth it or not javelin beetle and packed okay so from premium pack a lot of the cards are very cheap so even if these are minty, I would hold off to the cheapest rate for these for sure at best. So let's see if they're minty though. Uh, it does look pretty good, I would say, for the pack. Okay, the front looks pretty good and the back looks pretty decent. So from what I could tell, I would say wait for the $20 rate and send those two in. GBI Secret Rare God Card Set, worth great, worth it or not grading. So we got Obelisk. We're on a paper towel here, so that, that's interesting. Let's see. We've got, uh, it looks to be, from what I can tell, pretty nice condition. Uh, maybe there's some dings on the corners. It's really hard to tell with these GBIs. A lot of times it'll look like they have damage, but they don't. Or I'm definitely for grading GBI God Sets Secret Rares. So the Secret Rares have the Secret Rare name, etc. and the Secret Rare background. You can't really see it well on Obelisk. I'm for grading those if they're actually like 9 to 10 worthy. It appears these are pretty good condition, so maybe worth it. I can't see the pictures that well. They're a little bit blurry. Not 100% sure on that, but I would say probably worth it. Worth it or not to grade. So that corner looks pretty rough. I can't tell for sure. We have a BPT Red Eyes. So honestly, not bad for BPT Red Eyes. Actually pretty good on the back. Pretty nice card, but if that corner is actually messed up like I think it is, the centering is off. I mean, you're going to looking at like an eight, maybe a seven on this thing. And it's just not worth the price currently. Maybe you send it in cheaper. But personally, I would say don't grade something that's going to get like worse than an eight. Like a seven and below, I'd probably not grade. So especially if you're paying 150, definitely not worth it then. Maybe do it for like on the $20 rate. This is the last one we're going to do. Worth it or not, Dark Paladin First Edition special artwork that I had to mail in Upper Deck many years ago to get. Oh, so you actually did mail it in, which is super cool. So the story with this Dark Paladin, if you don't know, if you get the First Edition MFC and you open a booster box and you pull the Dark Paladin, you will not get this artwork right here. You will get error artwork, and that's because they accidentally put the Duel Master's Guide artwork into the booster box. So if you pulled it, you would get that one. If you actually wanted the correct artwork, which is this one, you would have to mail it in. I've never actually heard from someone that actually did the mailing. It's actually pretty rare because, you know, you actually have to get the card, be like, all right, I'm going to wait to get a new card. I'm going to send it in. You're a kid usually, so you're probably not going to do it. So this is pretty cool that he actually mailed it in and now he's wanting to grade it. So this is a pretty rare card. There's a theory that there's stacks of them sitting somewhere because they were just ready to replace all the ones that they they sent out some people have graded like multiple copies of this but even then it's still very valuable and desired first edition they call it the uh, corrected artwork 
because it's you know just the regular artwork that you're supposed to get. So let's check out the condition. If he's just had it sitting in a top loader since he received it, I'm guessing it's gonna be worth it. So let's see. Condition so far looks really nice. The centering is terrible on this. It's not gonna really matter. I'm still probably gonna send this in if it's in good condition. Because even PSA 9s of this are worth a few thousand, which is obviously crazy. So what I can see so far, it, it looks like it's very, very minty, very, very clean. Uh, it's a very long video. So let's kind of like try to speed through this. Surface looks great. I mean, the surface looks really good. Yeah, the surface looks absolutely awesome on this thing. I'm just gonna, he's, he's, this is a perfect video though. If we have more, you know, we just don't want to spend all day. There's maybe a little print line up there. I'm going to say for sure you want to send this in, even though it might end up with like an eight, this is still a really good car to have even greater than eight. So eight or nine is probably what you're looking at because the centering is really bad on the front and maybe a print line. But this is like, if it gets an eight, this is like a super minty eight, which is really nice to have. And it's also a very rare card and a cool card because one you actually send in an upper deck so that's really cool so 100 worth it i would definitely send that in all right that wraps it up for this episode of worth it or not i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you guys want to be in the next episode check out r slash ruxon 34 the reddit page and you guys can post whatever you want here in terms of asking me if it's worth it or not. If I've missed you, I'm going to attempt to get you in a future episode. Before we end the episode, I need to shout out the Ultimate Tier patrons and new members. So we have TCG Trusted Cards over on YouTube. And then for Patreon, we have Stanley, Mike Nance, and the Mimic Gecko. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I appreciate you guys. And that's it for this video. I will see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!